I went from 140 pounds to 160 pounds in 30 days. They think I'm on steroids, guys. <laughs> Just no, I'm not. But there's one thing that I never addressed. One thing that may in fact have made this possible. Coach Greg, in today's video, we're going over the aftermath of the Natty or Not I did on the season 10 winner of So You Think You Can Dance, Shik Shung. Fik Shung. Fiction. Fick Shung, as in it's fictional that the guy put on 20 pounds in 30 days. And so he watched my videos, went to Instagram stories, he has 2.7 million there, and 5.5 million on YouTube, and made stories talking about my videos, and he went to YouTube, and so I'm reacting to him, reacting to me, reacting to him putting on 20 pounds. It's what I do. Yo, what's up, guys? So I just watched this YouTube video about this guy talking about how he doesn't think I'm, you know, natural, I naturally put on muscle, um and got bigger. Um, and I think I, I see some of the misconception cause he doesn't follow me. He doesn't see my stories. doesn't see me in the gym. Like there was a point where I was only doing calisthenics and I only could get so big. Then I went to the gym, start lifting iron and was getting bigger naturally, um, and eating more. But, um, yeah, apparently, you know, to think I'm not natty and think I'm on the, the roids <laughs> and I'm just like, <laughs> You know nothing about me. Um, and apparently, you know, to his research, I don't think he did too much of it, but it's just, you know, he just dances and does calisthenics. At one point I did. And the videos he used to show that were me then. But then I got to the gym and I posted every day on my story, guys, for 30 days. And I got bigger naturally. And I ate a lot. But yeah, check out the video. All right. So anyone who's watched my video, including him, he must have seen me showing him going to the gym. I literally showed him going to the gym, bench pressing 275 pounds on his road to 300. It's in the video. And so I showed him doing calisthenics, 500 push-ups a day, 50 chin-ups, doing one-arm push-ups, all that kind of stuff. And so I said that because he does not have newbie gains anymore. He's already been training for years. Look at his pre-steroid physique. He's already has an amazing physique, 140 pounds, pure muscle, 7% body fat. And so what he's saying is that he then joined the gym and went to the gym for 30 days and then added 20 more pounds. Now, is it all muscle? Well, no. I said perhaps he went up 1% body fat, put on a couple pounds of water, and so it's still majority of it lean tissue. And so does anyone think you're going to put on 20 pounds of majority lean tissue in only 30 days? And remember, that's already having trained for years and already having amazing physique. And so imagine if I said, hey, everybody, I took Turk Builder. I'm 184 right now. And in 30 days, if I said I'm 204, and I have almost the same condition, still have six pack poking through my shirt. Would you believe me? I don't think you would. 20 pounds. I can't even say I put on four pounds. Oh, there's no way you put on four pounds in a month. Some people put on four pounds of muscle by taking creatine. And so I certainly think that you put on four pounds of muscle taking Turk Builder. But what about 20? By being 100% natural. Notice he says, I never took steroids. What about SARMs, growth hormone, peptides, MK677? There are a lot of other things that could have aided in his ability to put on 20 pounds in 30 days. I even said, I'm doubting the 140 and 160. What if he was 144 in the before and 156 in the after? What if he rounded his weight down 140, rounded his weight up to 160? And so what I'm saying is if he went from 140 to 160 with almost all muscle, couldn't have done it in 30 days. Okay, so the Greg D just responded on his story. He didn't tag me. You can tag me, bro. It's okay. And so first things first, I didn't tag him, but his name is there. I thought that meant it was tagged. I don't know how to do Instagram. I don't know any, I don't know technology. Those of you who know me, you know I'm not bullshitting you. I can barely send a text message. Remember, I'm 48 years old, going on. 98. I'm ancient and so technology, it eludes me. And so I have been writing him in the DMs going back and forth. And so perhaps we'll have to have a dance off. Coach Greg versus Fiction. If you want to talk about how I went from 140 to 160 pounds, we can talk about it. You keep saying that I only gained pure muscle. Never did I say that or claim that. So your head cannon is interesting and which is probably why it's confusing and so i didn't actually claim that i said he did in fact go up perhaps one percent body fat put on a little bit of water but i did say it's mostly lean tissue is it in fact possible to put on 20 pounds of muscle in a month no 
You can't put on 20 pounds of muscle in a month. But to his credit, he doesn't say it's all muscle. And so maybe he just went from being in a calorie deficit or mean gaining to suddenly going on a bulk. I said, yeah, you could put on 20 pounds. If you go on a crazy bulk, put on 20 pounds. And if a lot of it's fat, but I analyzed this physique, saw the abs through the shirt, saw the muscle, look at him as he's making the video. Does the guy look fat to you? And so I'm saying as a natural guy, especially a guy who's even shorter than Coach Greg, shorter than five foot six, when you're a short king, it's even harder to put on 20 pounds. Think of it. It's hard to go from 140 to 160 than it is to go from 240 to 260. When there's more of you, it's easier to go up in weight. It's a percentage of weight that really matters. If you're six foot six, it's easier to put on 10 pounds than if you're four foot six. It's simple physics and math. I did bulk up. I did go from 140 to 160. I'm actually editing my reaction video right now. Um. <laughs> and I'm reacting to you, reacting to me, reacting right now. It's what I do. Let's go live and talk about it. I'm down. If you, you, you can ask me how I did it. But you shouldn't just say I didn't do it when I did. And so I didn't say he didn't do it. I said he didn't do it natural. I also said maybe he is natural, but then he rounded off the weights. I'd have to have see physical proof that he was actually only 140 and then 160. Perhaps he weighed himself dehydrated, as I said in the video. Perhaps he had one too many shots of alcohol and was dehydrated in the morning. And then he weighed himself at the end after eating a large meal and was bloated. And so it is possible, but I'm saying if it's almost all muscle, 20 pounds of muscle, not happening in a month. But I, again, it wasn't all muscle. I never said that. Um, but yeah, let's go live. I'm down. All right. And so we can go live, but let's, before that, react to his video. They think I'm on steroids, guys. <laughs> Just no, I'm not, and that's just annoying, but it is what it is. Is it actually annoying though? If you put on 20 pounds in 30 days, then it's almost all muscle, and somebody says, oh, I believe it was from using steroids or performance enhancing drugs, is it actually annoying? Because after all, imagine if I said, hey, I can't see any difference. You've been training for three years. I see no difference. I would think it's more annoying for somebody to not think that you're on steroids. Is it not everyone's goal out there to think that they're on steroids if they're actually not? I think that's one of the best compliments in the world. If you're actually natural and people think, oh, you couldn't have built that body without steroids, that is in fact a compliment. He says that I claim that I put on 20 pounds of muscle. I didn't say that. And in the caption that he used, it clearly shows that I did not say that. I just said that I went from 140 to 160. And so he is in fact correct. When it says 20 pounds, he didn't say it was all muscle. And so later in the video, I do clarify that he did perhaps go up 1% body fat, put on a couple of pounds of water, but that it was mostly muscle, mostly lean tissue. So he is in fact correct. He has a point. He never said he put on 20 pounds specifically of muscle. First of all, I also love the title. His natty status is fiction. Coach Craig, in today's video, yes. we're doing another Clever. natty. Fiction. Fictional. Fiction gained 20 in 30 days. And so notice it doesn't say 20 pounds of muscle. When I make videos, I'm doing reaction. It's off the top of my head. And so sometimes I'm speaking so fast, I get lost. And so it's not 20 pounds of muscle. It's mostly 20 pounds of muscle. So I'm missing mostly, but he has an excellent point. And this time it's on a guy named Fick Shun Stigal. He's kind of like Steven Seagal. He can't actually fight in the real world, but he plays it well on camera. And so... Um... I'm a first degree black belt in Taekwondo. I've been doing martial arts since I was three years old. My dad is a seventh degree black belt in Taekwondo. I would hope I can fight in real life, <laughs> but. And so he's two for two so far. He's right. He didn't say he put on 20 pounds of muscle and he can actually fight in the real world. This guy was the winner of season 10 of You Think You Can Dance. And so I've watched. So you think you can dance. I can't even remember my own name half the time. Trust me, I'm not doing this on purpose. I'm not getting the names wrong on purpose. I just make these mistakes. Imagine, I'm practicing Spanish. You know how hard it is for me to learn Spanish when I can't even remember people's names? He also says my body fat. Just a quick disclaimer, guys. I don't know my body fat. I don't I don't measure that stuff. Um, I just kind of go i just work out to look good and so i know he doesn't actually know or claim his body fat percentage i went by coach greg's laser eyes everyone knows my laser eyes are more accurate than hydrostatic testing skin full calipers or even the dexa scan which is one of the worst yeah i didn't even know that so maybe he somehow knows my body fat i don't know how from my laser eyes it's what i do and so he says he never needed weights all he needed was consistency well frank so what he's doing, which again is very clever, <laughs> um, he's using an old video where I only did calisthenics. 
And that was my daily routine. No, but I'm showing that because that was what got you to being 140. Had you not done all those push-ups, the chin-ups and all that, perhaps you'd weigh 120, 130. But that got you to your starting point. And I use that to explain that he's already got his newbie gains. Because everyone knows when you first join the gym, when you first start training harder than last time, you have more potential for muscle growth. You build the most muscle at the start and then every year it gets harder and harder. And so what I'm saying is you've already been training for years. All that calisthenics even though it's your body weight, it's still training. 50 pull-ups, that's very hard. And so even though you're not in the gym with a pull-down machine, if you're doing chin-ups, you're already getting the back, the V taper and so on. I didn't go from calisthenics to then just going into the gym and bench pressing 275. And so no, perhaps I didn't explain the video correctly. I wanted to show people that you got the calisthenic body, 140 pounds, looking amazing. And then you joined the gym and then you trained for 30 days and then your bench went up to 275. Perhaps it was 185 when you started and went to 275 on the road to 300. Meaning if you keep training, you're going to keep getting stronger. And so perhaps I didn't explain myself properly, but I wanted people to know that you went from doing calisthenics to training and that's how you bench 275. After I got as big as I could with calisthenics, which was about 140, 143, um, I then decided to go to the gym and work out by lifting iron. And notice he says 140 to 143. And so did he in fact go from 140 to 160 or 143 to 160? Remember I said perhaps he's rounding down? I think we've just heard enough evidence that he's rounding his weight down to 140. Was he actually 140 or did he start at 143? Remember, 20 pounds seems very unrealistic. But as we chip away at those pounds, perhaps it's more realistic than last time. To his credit, he doesn't say it's all muscle. And so maybe he just went from being in a calorie deficit or main gaining to suddenly going on a bulk. If he did that, is it possible to put on 20 pounds of body weight in 30 days? Of course it is. And so in the before photo, you can clearly see the The, the video, there's the answer right there, but... I just want to keep hearing him. Okay, and so now we're on the same page. It wasn't 20 pounds of muscle. He put on 20 pounds, but I do believe we've now rounded it down to 17. He said 140 to 143. I now believe he was 143 and then 160. And from the sounds of things, he was on a very low calorie diet. He was shredded, perhaps under eating, perhaps not eating enough carbs, perhaps his glycogen was very low. And so for example, if you're on a keto diet and you're eating no carbs, you're going to be very flat. When your muscles are flat, it doesn't carry any glycogen. For every one gram of carb you eat, you need three grams of water to form glycogen. And so if you were to store 450 grams of carbs as muscle glycogen, you need that one pound, which is 450 grams of the carbs, plus three pounds of water, which would form four pounds of glycogen. And so is it possible that he was under eating carbs, had very low glycogen, and so that by eating the carbs, it filled the muscles with glycogen. That could account for four pounds. And so if he was 143 and did the carb load, it would perhaps be four extra pounds that would put him up to 147 and so perhaps getting closer and so is it possible that i'm wrong that he actually did this natural well let's stay tuned and find out this guy is very short shorter than even coach greg and so <laughs> that is why i don't know who coach greg is but that did make me laugh and i i am i'm five six yeah i'm not that tall five six and a half um but when my ponytail up i'm five seven and so perhaps when we meet up perhaps it's going to be a dance off we're going to see Who's actually taller? My experience with everyone who says they're 5'6", they ain't 5'6". When people meet me, they say you're taller than expected. People think I'm actually 5'3". And the majority of my friends that I meet that say they're 5'8", they're the exact same height as me. And so when I tell people I'm 5'6", they said, really? I thought you were 5'8". My friends think I'm 5'8". Why? Because I'm the same height as everyone who says they're 5'8". From my experience, men who are 5'6", they add two inches. Why? Because who wants to be 5'6"? Well, I do. I'm 5'6". You see me seeing Gooba. In this video, you see his shirt off, which makes it much more difficult to see. Is it in fact... I think he meant to say you see his shirt on which is totally fine. I mess up on my videos all the time too, so. Exactly, I slipped that up. I watched a video back. I'm like, why didn't I say his shirt was on? So I speak so fast, sometimes a mistake. Perhaps a veteran could have said on, but I did that mistake and absolutely caught it. Apparently people don't know what flexing is. Um, at that time when I was bulking, if I relaxed, I had a little bit of a, a little bit of a mm, but you know, we all flex um, when we on camera. What? So I'm, 
I'm definitely flexing. I'm also flexing my stomach too. And so what I'm hearing is saying he's actually flexing his abs that it wasn't relaxed. That when he was wearing his shirt, you could see the abs through. He was tensing his abs. He was conscious of this. And so what I'm seeing now is it's possible his body fat was actually higher. The shirt was covering him up. And so perhaps his body fat was higher than last time. I had estimated he gained perhaps 1% body fat, but let's say he gained 3% body fat. 3% of 140, it's about 4.2 pounds, give or take. And so if he put on four pounds of body fat and four pounds of muscle glycogen, that's eight pounds. And so that would explain him going from 143 to 151. And so notice we're getting closer and we haven't added in any performance enhancing drugs. And so is it possible that now that we have extra information, the fact that he's flexing his abs, that he's not as lean as he was when he was cutting, that perhaps it's possible that he did it natural. Actually, matter of fact, this, this specific shot right here, um, this is when I started using a weight vest. So I guess technically I was still, I was adding more body weight to myself. I was doing calisthenics, but I was doing it with a weight vest and that's what got me even a little bit bigger. In comparison to what I look like now, I, I still look pretty skinny. I was about like 140, I think my, my biggest here was 145. New information, he was 145 here and he had a calisthenic vest. And so he was actually using progressive overload. He was literally training harder than last time. Notice he mentions his chest got bigger. He was using a weighted vest. So you're doing push-ups with extra weight. It's going to have a newfound stimulus for muscle growth. And so he was actually training scientifically. Some people think you can't build muscle calisthenics and it doesn't work. Clearly it works. Look at the guy's physique. Absolutely incredible. Before touching a weight, 145 pounds, he looks incredible. And so did he in fact go from 145 to 160? And could he have done that natural while bulking and putting on 3% body fat, eating more carbs, increased glycogen? It's possible. But let's stay tuned and find out the final answer. I think my, my biggest here was 145. Because then there was a period of time where I stopped doing calisthenics. I got back down to 140 and I told myself, okay, I want to get to 160 because I've never been 160. Let me go to the gym and start bulking. Um, so, so I went from not doing calisthenics drop myself back down to 140 and then I went up from 140 to 160 eating a lot every day. And so what I'm hearing is he got to 145 pounds and stopped doing calisthenics and then lost five pounds of muscle. What do I think of this? I think that is slightly sus. When you're training 100% natural and you're dancing and doing calisthenics and so on, you don't easily lose that muscle. When you put on muscle naturally, it's not suddenly going to disappear. Remember that time period when you couldn't go to the gym? Many people couldn't go to the gym for months. The majority of you, if you were training natural, you pretty much looked almost the same. And so is it possible that to get to 145 that he was perhaps taking something and that he stopped taking whatever that would be and then dropped his weight to 140. And then when he went back to the gym and bulked for 30 days, going from 140 to 160, that perhaps he was again taking something. And I don't know what that is. Maybe it was all natural. Maybe he was taking Turk Builder, Acti Builder, Creatine, GO2 Max, G Test for increased testosterone production. Maybe it was on every natural supplement you could find. But there's one thing that I never addressed. One thing that may in fact have made this possible. If he was in fact under eating, he was in such a calorie deficit that his body didn't have enough nutrients that it had lower levels of testosterone from over dieting. If Fiction's diet was too fictional and he wasn't eating enough calories and his testosterone levels were suppressed and he suddenly went on a bulk and he increased his calorie intake enough to increase his hormones and that allowed him to have higher levels of testosterone than last time, then maybe it's possible he put on 20 pounds of tissue, not all of it lean, some body fat and or water, and then he put on those 20 pounds in 30 days. It is, in fact, possible.